Hey everybody, good morning to you. Today I want to talk about dissolving the templates, okay? And what does that mean? Twin flame, no twin flame. To me, templates are relationship patterns that no longer serve you. So these come from child, oopsie, don't knock over the camera. <laughs> these come from childhood hurts, childhood wounds. These come from um, things that you're trying to work out in your life. Could be past life karma, could be whatever. But you know what your templates are or what your patterns are, right? You see it. You could be um, mostly with third party situations. You could always be abandoning yourself. You could all, all, there's a myriad of things that you could be doing. And part, I think that one of the most important parts of it, any twin flame journey or ascension, let's just call it spiritual ascension, because that's really, you know, sort of where I want to focus moving forward is about spiritual ascension, next level stuff. Okay. And I'm going to move into talking more about how to do that for yourself. Okay. And one of the biggest blocks to getting to the place where you can be solid, stable, that's where I want to help you go. Be solid and stable in yourself. So when things come across your path, they no longer trigger, they no longer catch on those old habits, okay? So if you have had, and this could be, you know, with a twin, with a twin energy, with a deep soulmate energy, the reason this is so big, the reason that the big energy happens between the two of you is because of those templates, because of those old templates. When you dissolve them, I'm going to say to you, because I have dissolved three lickety split very quickly this spring already since Mercury went direct. I've already dissolved three templates that used to hook me, okay? And when you dissolve them, there's an interesting place after you dissolve them where you're like, you feel a little adrift or you feel a little alone or you feel a little, you feel a void of the energy that used to be generated by that experience, that high, right? of like being in that experience again and being like, this time it's gonna be different. And it doesn't, and it isn't, right? <clears throat> because it's only different if you're different. It's only different if you take action and make a change because you're hooking these templates into you, right? You're hooking this, it could be third party, it could be codependency, it could be, um, a fear of being alone or a fear of having to make your way in the world by yourself, financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever. It could be any of these things, right? And, and many more that I'm not saying. You could have physical symptoms. You could have emotional uh, symptoms. You could have heart symptoms. You could have um, any number of symptoms. For example, I have noticed in myself that I have a catch in my throat. And a lot of times that comes from not speaking my truth. Okay? Sometimes, you know, a cigar is just a cigar. Sometimes you just swallow something the wrong way. All right? Sometimes it happens. Not always. But I notice it when I'm in a situation where someone is pressuring me to do something I don't want to do. And I'll, and I, I'll, I'll, you know, have like a little choking episode or whatever because I'm not speaking my truth, right? That's fifth chakra going, hey! <laughs> Did you hear that horn? Beep! That's fifth chakra going, hey! You're not being true to yourself, okay? There's something more here you want to say that you're not saying, okay? And so when we're in this energy of right now following our North Star, following what you want in life, following all these things, and we're dealing with all of these very emotionally catching kind of situations, right? It catches you. The third party situation, the, um, the codependency, the problems with stability, the, um, the lying, the, you know, the connecting with people who are players or who are, you know, wanting sex only and not really relationship and other things. Why are these, why are these things coming to me? Why are these things coming to me? And when we talk about dissolving the templates, there are ways to go about doing this. 
And I want to say to you, I'm going to use some Gaia cards today. I'm going to show you what I got when I said, why is my throat catching? That's why I stopped the video. I got star in reverse and hanged man in reverse, which means hanged man is upright. Okay. So in the past, the past is the star. The present is the hanged man becoming upright, which is getting unstuck. And the future is emperor taking action for myself. And also, I want to say to you that that says to me that there is something about powerful men. There is something about um, um, men being in charge of things in my life that has been a powerful um, hook for me, right? Do I have my own personal power? Am I in my own personal power? And the way to really dissolve templates, and I feel like it's, you know, it's going to be like, Oh, because it is a letdown. Like once you dissolve a template. Okay. So for example, um, attracting players or people who have, who are toxic or narcissistic or anything like that. When you attract that, it is because of, and that is, I'm with you on this. It is because you are in alignment with a belief that that other person has power over you. You almost want that to be true, or you you definitely believe it deep down that you are not powerful, that you are not a capable of following your North Star or healing or doing what is on your path for your best interest. You believe that. So your job here is to become that which has hooked you, at least in alignment with the power, okay? and release the negative piece for you, which is when I'm with a powerful man or partner, I don't get a choice or I don't have a choice or that person, because on one side, I really like the fact that someone else is in charge. And on the other side, it's sort of like, that's the thing to be healed in me. All right. That's the thing to be healed in me. So what are your hooks? What do you find yourself hooking into all the time? Or you find those people coming across your path over and over again. The twin energy or the, um, the energy of high um, connection with someone, as we move through this ascension process, you're going to find more and more very, either like no connection or very high connection. It's almost like there's nothing in between. There's no just, okay, right? If you're ch walking this path, you're going to find that very deep connection could be twin, could be soulmate, whatever that is. But because you're opening to all of this, you're going to find that that's going to come across. Or you're going to find someone who's, there's just no connection at all because you're moving into higher vibration. So the, the thing is, the trick here is to, when you get in this very deep connection, that, that can be, that can be an indicator too of things that need to be healed, which we've talked a lot about on this channel, right? Things that need to be healed because twin is an energy, not, a, not necessarily a person. It's more of an energy. It is a spiritual ascension process. More and more people are coming online. Okay. More and more people are opening to this um, spiritual ascension. More and more people are going to be in those higher vibrations or in this place of I'm on your path to trigger you because you haven't fixed this about yourself. Okay. A lot of times we focus on the other and what they're doing and what's going on with them and they're with a karmic, all this stuff. Have you considered that what are the things that are putting me in this position? Because, you know, just the timing could be off, right? But what, what, is the, what is my belief that is putting me in this place to wait for someone for 10 years or longer? What is putting me in this position that I haven't healed yet? Taking responsibility for yourself and being like, yeah, you know, even though I'm like, this is my twin, even though that is your mindset or belief, the gratitude for showing you. So I'm going to suggest to you that dissolving the templates is really the work. When you feel stuck in a cul-de-sac, when you feel like, I don't know what to do from here. I'm just going to let that person go. I'm going to do all the stuff. Great. Okay. But it's not just as simple as that. It is, what is the template that I am reacting to that is keeping us in separation or keeping me separate from the soulmate of my dreams or keeping me separate from the life I want to live. What is that? And I'm going to tell you 
tough love here. It's you. <laughs> okay. It's you because you wouldn't be stuck in this dance, right? There's no, you know, you'll know when you've moved out of this, when you're no longer the chaser or the runner, right? You're no longer reacting to this. It's no longer a thing. And you may feel let down. You may feel, you may get to a place of a little bit of depression of like, uh, because we fall in love as human beings. We fall in love with what's familiar, not necessarily what is good for us. And if this, this, if this person, this, in this twin energy is here to help you heal, then guess what they're going to be reflecting back to you? That template, which you need to heal. So don't always look to that. Oh, they, you know, they can't get out of their karmic relationship and all that kind of stuff. Always say, what is this reflecting back to me that I need to heal? If you do that, I promise you, you will be moving away from players and from, you know, soulmates who are here to reflect things to you that you need to heal. You'll never stop healing. Okay. You know, fair, fair enough. I find after talking to hundreds of you, okay, over the past year and a half, I'm finding that the main thread is obviously a fear and it can be for, for most of those people, there's a fear that I'm going to miss the soulmate love in my life. I'm going to miss this experience that I really want. I'm going to be alone. I'm going to make a mistake that's going to ruin everything. And I'm going to um, experience uh, pain because I will have um, done something that will have destroyed this relationship. Okay. And I'm here to tell you that if you are doing good and healthy things for yourself, that will never happen. If that person chooses to walk along their own path because you have done some things that are healthy for yourself, see ya. Okay. I also know from speaking with hundreds of you that, <laughs> thanks train, that one of the things that I know I need to be, um, empowering you with is getting stable financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically, karmically, whatever it is. My job is to help you become stable. When you have that stability, look around your life. What needs to be fixed? What is it? without looking too much at the twin energy or at the soulmate energy, because we already know that there's templates that need to be fixed there, right? I think that's a given. Here we are. This is one of the reasons we're on this ascension path is that we have a unique ability to be um, empathic, loving, you know, joyful, wonderful, shining lights, right? Be the lighthouse, not the storm. Shining lights that attract moths, that attract vampires, okay? That attract people who want to suck energy from you, okay? So, we want to dissolve templates. That's what we want to do now, okay? So, if you feel stuck in your situation, dissolving templates, and I am here to posit to you that the goal of becoming stable in every area of your life. And by stable, I mean, so financially, you've got money coming in that's of your own making, that no one can take away from you, okay? That you are able to generate money at will, okay? If you are in a corporate situation and you feel like, I don't know if I can get the next promotion or if you feel like there's some instability there, are you doing a side hustle that's bringing you money? Are you truly living in your, in your mission? Okay. Um, when I go back to doing uh, private readings, I am going to primarily focus on what is your life mission? What do you want? And how does that align astrologically, numerologically, in every way with the mission you're here to do on this earth. Okay. So being in alignment with the path that is going to bring you stability, that is going to bring you abundance and all of that. So I'm not opening that up right now because we're talking about the tarot class. We're doing the tarot class for, um, late April, early May. So you'll see information on that on the Instagram. So go check that out. 
Um, but when I get back to doing private readings, that's really what I want to focus on. If you're into that, because I feel like that's really, that is the key. Is following your path, truly knowing your path, truly understanding and not building the next relationship on, uh, on the sand. Okay. I'm talking about building the next relationship on solid ground. So you can make decisions and choices for yourself. You are no longer hooked into all of these old templates that you are um, experiencing either with the twin energy, the person you believe to be your twin or the person who you believe to be a deep soulmate. You're no longer in these like situations that reduce your power, have you give up what you want or make compromises. You're no longer doing that, okay? This is about you becoming stable financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically, every single way in your life. And then as you do that and dissolve these templates, because all of them are fear-based, okay? All of them are fear-based. For me, like that I won't have a voice. And look at what I'm doing. I have a voice, right? This is the dissolving of the template of me not having a voice. You're watching it right now. What about you? What is the thing that you want to dissolve? What are the templates in your life that you want to dissolve? Are you constantly attracting narcissistic partners? Twin, no twin, whatever. Are you constantly attracting narcissistic partners? Are you constantly being put in positions where you feel like you don't have a voice? Are you constantly being put in positions where you have to make compromises to feel safe? What is it? Okay, because I want to help people get stable. So the decisions they make are truly out of their own power and love for self. Ask yourself, as you're moving through some of these templates, some of these things that hook you, you know what they are. You know that you see the patterns. You do. I know you do. And part of walking toward twin flame, spiritual, high vibration love is, oh, thank God, none of those templates are going to exist it's all about somebody who truly loves me deeply and I love them truly and deeply. And so all of those problems will go away. I posit to you, I recommend to you that those, that twin, the path of walking this twin is because you need to get rid of all those things. Not to avoid them or not to be like, oh, finally someone's going to love me for deeply for who I am truly because you have to create that first and part of creating that first is dissolving these templates okay so when I showed you my little reading here that I stopped the video to do star in reverse hanged man in reverse and emperor yes part of it is uh, powerful men powerful and narcissistic okay for the negative uh, image of the emperor I need to become not those negative things I need to become powerful and, and uh, driven in my own life so that I do have the capability of sharing life with someone who is powerful. I have to be them to attract them, right? If you want to be in a very loving, deeply connected, soulful, we accept each other because no one's perfect and you're not going to get rid of everything and be a perfect human being, but to attract this higher level love, you've got to be that. Be the ball, Danny. You've got to be the ball, okay? So we're talking about dissolving those templates and that is the work. That is a big part of my mission here. So you can shine brightly because we need you. We need you. All right. So let's see here. I'm going to pull three Gaia cards and one from the bottom. I love this Gaia book. And this is about your, what is, please bring me messages for those watching who may be online with this idea, this process, this experience of dissolving templates. Sometimes the templates are about walking away from something that's abusive or that is demeaning or that is simply unhealthy. Messages for everyone watching this who wants that level of relationship. Okay. Peace. Moonlight goddess. Ganesha. Oh, awesome. Healing. Yay. Okay. So the first card is about peace. 
Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts, patterns. Moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing, reflection. Third, Ganesha, future, clearing away obstacles. Wow. Clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. The card underneath, 33. A 33. Seriously? Reconnecting with your true nature. That is what this is about, my friends. And <clears throat> I want to say to you that part of dissolving, the fact that I said dissolving the template and the first card that comes out is about peace, about dissolving, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Thoughts create your experience. Okay? So this is about dissolving the templates, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing, reflection. We're coming up on the April full moon, which is about Libra, which is about balance. Okay? I'm going to be doing a live on the 19th um, about Libra full moon. So I hope you'll, I don't know what time yet. I think in the evening, 8 p.m., something like that on Friday, Eastern time. Um Ganesha, clearing away obstacles. You see, when you become, when you come into alignment with who you are, healing, reconnecting with your true nature, all of these templates, all of these things that are hooking you into these re relationships that aren't working for you are all layered on top of your true nature because they come from beliefs. They come from beliefs that were implanted in you by experiences from your past, Okay. Oh, uh, if I don't go along with what my dad says, then there will be hell to pay. Or if I don't go along, so you sort of uh, want to make it peaceful, I, you know, keeping the peace, right? Oh, I want to, you know, whatever it is, whatever you sort of learned from the relationships you had or from very young age, whatever you sort of learned, it's time to release all that. It's time to release all of those things. They are no longer serving you. They are blocking you from having the relationship that you want. And they are also taking up space, taking up real estate in your heart. They're taking up in your belief system. They're blocking the manifestation of the true thing. They're blocking you from becoming stable in all ways. They're blocking that. And becoming stable... First of all, we need to release these unhealthy patterns, these things that keep us afraid or keep us connecting with people who are not in our best interest. When you release that, it's almost like you clear the ground. You clear the ground, you sanctify the gr ground, you have your, you know, your wands or whatever you have. This is my um, my favorite, right? You clear all of these things, selenite, I have a lot of selenite, because this is about clearing energy, right? I do a lot of readings, I have to clear a lot of energy. That's what this is about, it's about clearing the ground, so you can rebuild, so you can build a new tower to yourself, out of love, not out of fear. Don't build it on sand or you're going to have a tower experience, right? It's going to get blown up. This is about building, by dissolving those templates, you're building on hallowed ground. You're building on ground that is based in your own loveliness, in your own joy, in your own stability, in your own happiness. Okay. So when someone comes across the path, I know for myself, I've wasted years. They weren't wasted. I mean, I learned lessons from it, but you know, I mean, it took years to finally see something. Now, guess what? Within a month, I saw it, took care of it. Done doesn't mean those people still won't come across your path. You won't be attracting a lot of them, though, because you'll be like, move along. It just is not going to catch you the way it has. Okay? It's just not going to catch you. And if you do this, like I say, release the idea that a twin is a specific person. Release that idea. Release the notion that it's got to be this person. Just release that. It could be. But maybe not. Maybe the universe has something better in mind for you. So release that idea that you know. You don't have to know. I know we're raised in this whole culture of, of knowing. And I want to know who's my twin. I want to definitive. I saw a question last night about how do I know someone is or isn't. This has been a question we've been dealing with for years. Can you live in the ambiguity of not knowing? 
I'm challenging that to you because you, a lot of you who watch this channel know that my um, experience has been a lot about releasing the idea that it is a specific person, releasing the idea of, okay, well, you know what? I might be, I might be my mission to be a monk, to be a teacher, to be a monk, and to be on this path solely for the purpose of hacking through um, macheteing, right? To lay the path. Good with it. 100% good with it. 100% good with it. Okay? So I want you to see those templates that you are still dealing with. Try to be objective. Try to pull yourself back from it. And if you can't do that for yourself, you know, make up a story about like it's your best friend and they're sort of stuck in this kind of situation. And just see how different that feels. The objectivity of that. See how different that feels. So, because that's going to make it easier for you to be like, oh, yeah. It doesn't mean people are bad. It doesn't mean people are evil. It doesn't mean like, oh my God, I got stuck in something. Okay. Like, I get it. Feel that way for sure. But when you can release the idea, release the thought that that's true, right? You're believing that you don't deserve love or don't deserve to be in relationship if you're still not in relationship. You're in that belief that, you know, the longing of it or whatever, that's a, that's a thing. That's a template that's hooking you that, you know, someone who I love is always going to abandon me. They're never going to be with me. What are the templates that you're hooked into? Okay. So peace dissolving. There is truly no point in worrying about things that are not in your control. Worry does not help anyone, nor does it help resolve anything. On the contrary, it often makes things seem worse than they actually are. Life is such that we can always find something to worry about. Yet, for your own well-being and for the well-being of those around you, it is, whoopsie, it is vital that you learn to deal with things in a more positive way. To stop the endless cycle of disturbing and negative thoughts, you are advised to train yourself to focus on the positive side of things. All right, this is about thoughts. Thoughts become things, right? Thoughts become things. Set aside time at the beginning and end of each day to meditate. Bring your awareness within. Feel and imagine yourself surrounded by love and light. Allow the universal light of love to fill your heart and mind. Imagine your thoughts dissolving and floating away into space, especially the ones who bring templates that need to be dissolved, right? Focus on all that you are grateful for in your life and thank Mother Earth and the universe for every blessing. There is a bit of mindfulness training there where you're in this moment only. And how you do that is you look around and say, I feel five things with my this sense. I see five things with my sight. I, what are the five things I can smell with my nose? What are the, it brings you into the moment, right? Being in the moment means you release all of this Fear, negativity, thoughts, relationship issues, you're releasing all of that. Just be in yourself. Bring your energy back in. I did a meditation earlier on this channel, which I will put the um, link to in this description box, about meditation and filling your own, becoming a fountain so that you keep, um, you keep self-contained. You are loving to yourself. You keep bringing the love around in a fountain as opposed to a well where you go and you dig out the water and eventually, you know, maybe come dry because you're digging and digging and never refilling. <laughs> the metaphor is the, the earth doesn't refill it. You refill it, but you know what I'm saying? So the well is the thing that is going to be the most hard work, right? And it's also not being refilled by you. So when you become a fountain, you are refilling and replenishing your own cup. That's what you're doing. Okay. So that is peace. Number two, Moonlight Goddess. That's about repressed emotions. These are things that you may be doing unconsciously. And that's another piece of this. If you avail yourself of um, hypnotherapy or any kind of uh, regression therapy or anything like that, there's repressed emotions, repressed beliefs, subconscious beliefs. There are thing you're, things that are operating your life that you are not even aware of. This is where tarot comes in as a great tool. If you use tarot, if you are part of the tarot class that's upcoming, you will learn about how do I ask questions that most get to the heart of what's going on. 
And the question that's most to the heart of what's going on here when we're talking about unconscious things are, what am I not seeing about my own beliefs? What do I not understand? What is subconscious? That's why I take the card from under the deck all the time. That's the card of subconscious. That's the card of what's underneath here that I may not be aware of. Okay, so when you, if you do tarot for yourself, which I highly recommend as a spiritual practice, you can do a reading that your question is, what am I not seeing that I need to um, uncover for myself that will help me heal? What am I not seeing here? And <clears throat> shuffle and do a couple of cards, just like I did here. With the star in reverse, not really seeing how awesome you are. All right, not really seeing how amazing you are, not following your North Star, not following your own intuitive process, okay? Becoming enlightened and starting to move forward on this. Hanged man in reverse. Thank God, hanged man in reverse, right? So becoming unstuck and knowing your own power. That is what that little reading said to me, that if I am uh, not conscious of the fact that I am not truly following my own North Star, that was in the past, the present is I'm becoming unstuck because I am learning to speak my truth and act in a powerful way, okay? So a great use of tarot for you is spiritual development, all right? Moonlight Goddess, repressed emotions, healing, reflection. The Moonlight Angel depicted on this card is here to reflect back to you the repressed emotions and thoughts you have stored inside you. She is here to heal you through your dreams, but in order for this healing to take place, you must pour out your heart and express how you truly feel. Do this for yourself and for others. Remember that all you repress not only affects you, it also affects those around you, especially those you love most. It is safe to acknowledge your feelings. It is all right to cry. Just surrender and let it all go. You are surrounded by love and healing energies of the goddess. You are eternally loved and eternally protected. In the coming month, hey, a timing card here. You are, <laughs> in the coming month, you will reflect on the past, you will give thanks, and let go of old hurts and disappointments. The only loving memories you will keep inside your heart are those that help you grow. Then, once the chambers of your heart are yet full again, full of light, a new season begins, a new journey, a new joy, a new passion. A lot of things to talk about here. Um, I spoke with someone a while ago, Ori, you know who you are, talked about the four-chamber heart, talked about refilling, talked about filling from within, the fountain, that... that um, Meditation I'm talking about that's below is about refilling and replenishing your own cup. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing I want to say is um, we are in retrogrades now with Jupiter and Pluto and Saturn. Okay, Jupiter is in retrograde until uh, August. Saturn is in retrograde until September. Pluto is in retrograde until October. And all of these things are... Don't get frightened about it. Don't get like freaked out about it. What it's really saying to you is time to reflect. Everything that we're talking about here is embodied in those three retrogrades, okay? So reflect on what you feel to be important, your own role in making your own luck, right? Not just like random universe. Don't believe that, right? There's no such thing. There's no such thing, okay? It is not that you make your own path. You make your own luck. You are co-creating with the universe. If you don't me believe me, go listen to Abraham Hicks. Those guys, Esther Hicks, awesome, okay? She is really an amazing divine channel for um, all of her guides who she calls Abraham. She talks a lot about manifesting and, um, and also about sort of being in that space of being open. Are you get ready to be ready to be ready to be ready? Okay, love Esther Hicks. Um, in the future here, oh, so all of those retrogrades are here at a moment when it's time to reflect, right? Retrogrades are about re, right? Retro, reflect, reunification, right? Unify with yourself, looking back, reflecting back to yourself. The moonlight goddess, moon, all right, we're doing the full moon thing on April 19th, 8 p.m. on this channel, on this bat channel, um, Moon, the moon reflects the light of the sun. In, full, in, in a full moon, it's reflecting the light back to you. In the, the sun is yourself, right? The sun is self in your astrology chart. The moon is simply a reflection. So when you're looking at full moon, in, in Libra we're talking about, it's about, this full moon is about balance. How can you balance yourself? How can I reflect out to the world how can I reflect my own energy back out into the world in a balanced way? 
All right, so that's what we're looking at on Friday. So just keep in mind, the moon isn't always about fear. It's about what are you reflecting? What are, what are the things you're reflecting out into the universe, into the world that come back to you? Right? If you're reflecting a belief that you don't deserve love, that's gonna what you're going to see. So be, in, be mindful you are the moon in this analogy, okay? You're reflecting your light back into the universe, that which will come toward you. And that is the subconscious. The moon is the subconscious. What is underneath all of this? This is deep work, okay? Ganesha, future. Ganesha. This is about clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. So I find once you clear away a lot of stuff, there's an empty real estate. It's a vacuum. And the universe can rush in to fill that with positivity and joy and abundance and love and all that stuff. Or you can allow other people to be attracted to it, to fill that void in your life as vampires and negative, right? So this is about also intention. I'm getting rid of all of these negative patterns. I don't want to replace them with other negative patterns, right? Uh, my intention is to be protected, listen to my own guidance, you do that by slowing down. That's what the mindfulness is all about. You do it by slowing down. Okay? So Ganesha, number 31 here. If you like this deck, I totally dig this deck. Um, Ganesha, one of the most worshipped deities in the Hindu pantheon, has shown up in your reading today as an omen of good fortune. This is a future card. Whatever was thwar thwarted your prog Whatever has thwarted your progress or prevented you from moving forward will soon be resolved. An obstacle is cleared and you are free to move on. Your plans are now to come to fruition. Know that everything happens for a reason. The blockages you have faced were a blessing in disguise, an act of divine intervention. Rejection is God's protection. You ever hear that? I live by that. Timing and circumstances previously were not favorable and your efforts would only have ended in disappointment and failure. The path now is clear and the timing is right. Your stars are in alignment. Boy, do I like that. And the card underneath, it's very important. This is the one that is subconscious. This is the one that is like the most true to the, maybe you're not, not seeing the whole picture. This is the most true healing, reconnecting with your true nature. To really um, align with that true nature and that's what you're reflecting out into the world so that that's what is attracted back to you. The lady featured on this card has journeyed far and wide, searching for happiness, which she has failed to find. Confused and tired, she surrenders and retreats into her inner sanctuary, a space of light inside her heart, where she discovers a deep sense of peace. She recovers and reconnects to her true nature by letting go of all that is superficial in her life. She reflects on her past and is now able to see what is true and what is false, what is real and what is illusion. In the stillness of her heart, she hears a whisper, a message of love. Her heart is grateful for her return. Over the past months, you have inadvertently steered off course, gradually losing sight of what is truly important and without realizing it, losing touch with the real you. It is time for you to reconnect and rediscover your true essence and your inner child. Stop searching externally. Look within and you will rediscover magic. The inner child stuff, you know, I used to sort of be like, oh God, inner child stuff. <laughs> Um, inner child stuff is where it's at because that is the thing she, she or he is driving. When you are not paying attention to that, you have a seven year old behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler. Okay. You got me when you pay attention to it and understand and be, um, understanding and warm and compassionate for yourself. Then you have a seven-year-old sitting beside you in the car and you're driving. <laughs> okay? So that is my uh, wish for you today here. This is about dissolving templates, looking at things that are hooking you, and doing that work, slowing yourself down. And I also want to say to you that my work over the next year is going to be about helping you become as stable as possible so that you can make choices right? I don't need someone in my life. I want some in my life, someone in my life. Needing is based in fear, right? Wanting is based in choice. All right, my loves. That's a good way to start the day. 